Hi, my name is Eric Latender. This is my trusty helper, Martini. And this is my book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. That's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about the book that I wrote to help dog owners and the method that I came up with. And the method I came up with is the reverse dog training method. And each letter is part of an acronym to help you remember how to effectively train your dog. And so each one of these letters stands for something to help you train your dog. So I want to talk today about the last E. And the last E in the reverse method is for efficient. When you follow a dog training program, it should be effective and efficient. And what I learned over the years is that a lot of people, they love their dogs, they love the things that their dogs can do, the tricks and the obedience, but they don't love the training process. That's okay. I like, do, I like training dogs, but I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people, you know, it's, they want their dog to be trained, so they put the time in, they put the effort in, but they really don't enjoy it. So when I am teaching somebody how to train a dog, I always make sure that it's a very efficient method, that they get results fast, and that they don't have to spend hours and hours and hours training their dog. In fact, what I always recommend is that you should only train your dog in short 10-minute sessions. You shouldn't go more than 10 minutes. And the reason for that is because a lot of times we don't want to tire the dog out. If the dog is training, 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 you know we're into it for like 45 minutes. At 45 minutes, your dog is going to go, oh man, this stinks. So when you go to the next training session, your dog is not going to be into it. So you always want to end your training sessions with your dog wanting to do more. So imagine you're out there, you're doing sits, you're doing downs, you're doing stays, you're calling your dog to you, maybe you do a couple of tricks with your dog, your dog's really into it. He wants to do more, he's loving it. And then at nine minutes, you end the training session, done. And the dog's going, no, 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 I want to do some more, I want to do some more, I want to do some more. Think about your dog's attitude the next time you come into a training session. Next time you go to do another training session, your dog's going, yeah, we're doing some more training. Let's do it. So that's why I always do 10 minute sessions and the things that I teach are done and over in 10 minutes so that you are constantly getting results. You're building on each training session so by the end of four or five weeks you have a dog that does the commands that you want them to do. So if you'd like to learn more about the reverse training method, you can for free. Because I give the first four chapters of my book away for free at AmazingDogTrainingBook.com and this, the reverse method, is discussed in detail in chapter two. So look at that, bonus, you get chapter two, it explains the reverse method, plus you get three other chapters. Where can you find a better deal than that? <laughs> so go to AmazingDogTrainingBook.com, get the first four chapters, start working with your dog, watch the results you get. Thanks for watching, have a great day.